so you know that's pretty much it so you know and, and uh, what we found out is that people with uh, with uh, who gained custody that were Mexican straight Mexican under Anita Alvarez's administration got full custody and it was uh, more than unusual circumstances usually the spouse man or wife who is American uh, white, black, Chinese, or what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, some type of European descent did not get did not get uh, full custody. Uh, we also found out that men, Mexican men, did get full custody underneath her administration. Uh, specific men that were attached with her administration, or specific men that, for some reason, got custody. I didn't get custody, and I'm. Uh, you know, I'm half Mexican and half Italian, and uh, what do you call it? I said, I didn't get custody at all. I didn't even get custody rights to see them. So, you know, there was something going fishy on there inside that administration. So, um, I mean, unfortunately, and basically at this point, it's like um, what I could recommend as a uh, custodial, or if you're going for custody, is that I would highly unrecommend that you uh, try to push it. Uh, you know, I don't know. Special favors were given, and who knows? You know, who knows what the circumstances were, unfortunately. So, but uh, whatever the case may be, it's like, you know, it's unfortunate. I haven't seen my kids in nine and nine years and 11 months. It'll be uh, 10 months coming this March. And a court order was given a split custody or weekends, and they wouldn't even do that. Every time I go over there, they call the police to try to build me a criminal record, throw me out on the street, and lose my job and everything. And it's unfortunate that things have to end like that. That's not always the circumstance, but in this particular case, special favors were given to people. And uh, it's unfortunate, you know. And, uh, you know, my kids grew apart from me, and, you know, I don't want to make it a personal issue, but, yeah, that, that specifically, you know, when you raise your kids up to 10 or 11 and then pull them away, it's like legally kidnapping the kids. It, it, you know, I don't know what's going on there. You know, showing them out, you know. And then we find out certain members of the family, Hispanic or Latin or Mexico, from Mexico, participated in this shit and the bike circumstances and three other, four other uh, circumstances of that. So, you know, there was something fishy going on there, and they all got preference, preferential treatment inside uh, the court system with Anita Alvarez. So, you know, yeah, it was a, a, a kind of like a, a Mexican thing that, you know, if you wanted custody, you got it. And it was unfortunate because, you know, these children were white, black, Italian, Chinese, and uh, what do you call it, some other things. I haven't seen my kids in over, it's going to be 10 years. Why, you know, why would you do something like that? And why would the court system support this type of thing? And, you know, it goes back to her saying, you know, she didn't want to go back to Anita Alvarez's cage where she was told what to do, where to go, who to go with, and obviously when to pull out on 9-11 because that's when the divorce started. So hopefully things will go better with you when it comes to custody. So, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but, you know, under circumstances we've seen this is what it is. These are facts. This isn't uh, made up you know, bullshit and stuff, so, this is all based on facts, so, you know, I don't know, when it goes to custody, I would say particular custody issues, just, uh, take what the court give you, go in for split custody or weekends, and see if they decide to do it, and they might not, so, you know, who knows, who knows what's gonna happen, so, going back to, uh, what else, yeah, that would be the only thing I would say, is that, uh, you know, of course, you know, if they're not yours, that's another thing. But, you know, paternity test and everything like that can be done, DNA and all the rest of that. But, you know, the kids were the kids were mine and, 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 you know, hopefully, you know, things, it's just, it was just kind of fishy, you know, unfortunate. So hopefully things won't go that. But as a man, you don't get custody in the state of Illinois. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, no court system gives, they give preferential treatment to the mother because of if she's not working, they have to put her on. Uh, you know, some type of welfare benefits and everything like that. And that's okay, you know, that's there's nothing wrong with that. You know, stay-at-home mom and all the rest of that. But, you know, we, dads have some type of rights. And unfortunately, in these circumstances, you know, we didn't see that type of, uh, of uh, legal action, unfortunately. So, wow. Yeah, yeah that's good, Rich. Thank you. He speaks very good. Very good. So that's about it. You know, what can I say? That's end of story. So hopefully it goes better for you, and uh, we'll see what happens.